the fact of being who or what a person or thing is, defined as identity, but what was meant to be individuality and the freedom of Christ turned into man's pridefully driven entity. Now for me, this false entity rooted itself not physically but mentally, and non-coincidentally, a heart of insecurity turned into hurriedly attempting to compromise my purity, and assuredly, these motives were not driven by me, but rather him and her, he and she, all of those surrounding thee. Thus, this expanding circle of peers simply acted as an outer defense mechanism guarding my inner fears. But as the fear seeped under the wheel of life I attempted to steer, I quickly shifted my gears and further submerged myself into the murky depths of parties composed of alleged depression-declining drugs and brother-bolstering beers. Further dismembering my inner being from the people-pleasing peer I reflected in the mirror, falling further into disillusionment, further from the oh-so-rash reality sheer, further from the truth that was oh so zealously attempting to draw near. I was driving further and further away from reality, but during the drive I became more and more cognizant of my indulgence and fallacy. I was running on empty. The orange light was lucidly flashing, and although I had lost the real me when aligned with society, I was perfectly mashing. Eradicating the viability and truth's attempts at latching, I was now out of the grasps of my guilty consciences outlashing. But as soon as I made home in my fallacy outlasting, I was suddenly brought to a halt by my tires unexpectedly slashing, resulting in a rigorous crashing, mind thrashing, thoughts blasting, and outer force grasping the false me, perhaps better referred to as a spiritual snatching. And in return, a new being began to take part in attaching. But though the old me is gone, let it not be mistaken. There is still an ever so often call to pass, creating an inner clashing. But it is unequivocal, my life has been placed in the hands of God, hands life catching. And the movie of life oftentimes still calls for a reenacting, but I am no longer an actor up for its casting. I am now a son of the one God everlasting. <laughs>